Welcome to another video tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to configure CMAC, that is Connection Manager Administration Kit. Okay, this would help you um, allow your users to easily connect from outside the network. All right, for the internal network, it's actually a software setup we're going to create, whereby they will be able to run on their system and just connect to the office immediately okay so in this case we will be giving them the public IP address we used for our gateway okay so to do that we need to install the feature that is the connection manager administration kit feature or right, it should be automatically installed but if it's not you come over here and then you go to features alright as you can see over here we have RAS Connection Manager Administration Kit already installed because we've configured VPN already. So if you've not configured VPN, you should look around for the video on my channel on how VPN is configured. So after configure after installing this, okay, we can easily cancel this and then enlarge this. You can easily go to tools over here and then you see here we have connection manager administration kit. You click on that. And then we're gonna go through this next. Now here we have select the target operating system. So you need to know the type of operating system that you're creating it for. If it's for Windows, Vista, 7 and above, then you can go for this first option. But below, then you can come for this option. So we're gonna go for the up, the first option. Then go for next. All right. And then we're gonna create a new profile because we don't have an existing one. And here. That is the name that will appear the connection manager. Okay, you can just give a good name of your company name to that. So I'm just gonna type the the instant tech blog. Alright, and the file name it shouldn't have space. So I'm just go for VPN VPN setup. Alright, and then you can go for next. Alright, and then here it says it's specify the real name now. That is if we're creating these for a particular user that's a specific user then we can type in the user name here okay that is the username at the domain name dot at the domain name all right but we are not doing that so we're just going to go for do not use rename name and go for next and then here it says merge information to other profiles we don't have any other inf any existing profile so we're just going to go next and then here we we'll go for phone book from the file and then we select always use the same VPN server now our VPN server's IP is 40 that is the main route and server do make sure you don't pass this step 40.40.5.40 40 all right and then just doing that you go to next and then you just select this this is what we created that is the VPN entry okay that is a uh, that is details on how to connect so we're not going to do that we're just going to go for next okay and then here it allows you to put in phone book files that is phone book directories you just don't need this you go for next all right and then here it says that type the URL for connection port service from which phone book. Okay, we're not using phone book, so go with next. There's an entire phone book name. Okay, so our phone book. So yeah, she specify the name of the phone book that you want the server to update. Okay, we're not using the app, but it's necessary for us to enter something over here. So we're just going to type in there. Um, MTN, all right. That is not MTN. Why MTN? Let's use a uh, VTB that is Vincent Technology Block. 
that should be the name and the connection server should be the name of the server which is dc2 that is the name of my server okay actually the fully qualified domain name dc2 dot contoso.com that's the name of my connection point server i'm going to go for next next again and here it talks about routing i'm not going to do any of that so you don't need it actually so go for next next okay and uh, we are not adding any custom actions so we'll go for next so now guys here it says you can customize your icon okay that is when the user is connecting they see a particular image about the company so if you have an image it's actually 330 by 140 pixels so if you have a designer that can design for you you just have to select that image here so that it will look more realistic and beautiful so i'm just going to go for next i want to use default graphic and then also for the other side image you can also design that as well i'm going to go for next i'm going to use it and then the icon okay of the such setup and all that okay you can change it by selecting the one that was designed for you or the one that you designed but if you don't have you can go for the default icon and then you can also add a custom f file which you must be dot c h m file that's in the notepad file or something that is can to, to help direct the users on what they can do so i'm not i'm not having that so i don't need it i'll go for next and support information that is if you have any custom die line custom market line they can call you can insert them here and go for next and now what do you want to name it says uh, the user must accept the license agreement all right, and enter the name of the text file that contains the license agreement. We don't have a license agreement. If you have a license agreement, that is a notepad file. You just browse and select, browse and select it here. That's terms and conditions about the setup. All right, then you go for next. And here we also have uh, additional files for connection manager profiles. You can add them here. If you don't have, you can go for next. And after that, you go for next and our setup will be created finish so after doing that guys you don't see anything just like i can see anything here so you come to my computer that is a computer c drive and then you go to program files check note if you have to just like i do when you go to the x86 you see we have cmac that's not the one you go to you come to the program files itself and you go to cmac and then you come to profiles and go for windows vision above and you see that we have our vpn setup creator inside it we have all the files needed so this is what is needed to give to the employees you can either mail it to them give them in pen drives or any so when they get this when you finish with this you're just going to copy this on the pen drive okay and then test it so let's test this now by taking it to our windows 8 clients that is outside of our network and try using it to connect okay so now in this case this user won't have any any information about the network how it's going to work all it's going to provide is its username and its password and that is it so i'm going to send this to my pen drive and i'll be back on my windows 8 pc yeah hello guys now we are here on our, our windows our windows 8 client Okay, which is the 64 bit client. Okay, because we use the same 2012 to create our CMAC, okay, which is 64 bit system and operating system. So, the same thing we need to use on our client system. Okay, that is what must be on the system. Okay, being used to connect to the network. Alright, so here I have my setup. Okay, before I install it, here you have it. Before I install it, I'll make sure that. My system is connected to the internet. All right. If you if you follow the a VPN configuration, this system must be on the internet. All right. To make it be on the internet, on our virtual purpose. Okay. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make it look like it's on the internet. We go to adapter settings and then we check the. Properties. Normally, we're not supposed to do this, but because this system is just impressed, this just practical purposes, I'm just gonna give this an IP address, making it look like 
it's on the internet okay in the real world environment you don't need to do these settings at all okay just give it this okay and then you go for ok and ok alright and then you just close just making it look like it's on the internet alright because it's now on the same network with that uh, VPN server now we're just going to come over to our setup the VPN setup run it if you remember I will call the VPN tech black and then you go for yes you want to install you go for all users if necessary if you want and then you go for my use only that's what I want to go for and just give it a shot on the next okay guys so we're going to drop that as it here we've just double click on it we just installed it yeah you have it you can just right click on these and then go for create shortcut on the desktop so close and then close this here we have it now when we double click on this it has to connect through here and then we can type in our password <coughs> As you can see now, it's asking me to change my password because when probably my account has expired in the domain, so I'm just gonna type password that I want to give to it. Alright, and go for okay. Now I believe we connected. Okay, so set. So without any idea about the network, gateway, IP, or anything, we're giving the software from this administrator, and we are able to connect by just installing the software. First of all, connecting to the internet, and then installing the software and typing our credentials to connect. That is how easy it is. Okay, then make sure. The client systems for your employees or people connecting a 64 bit because you use 7212 to create the same Mac application. Alright, so guys, I believe you enjoyed this video. Alright, if you like it, just subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you for watching.